going on YouTube? Uh, I've been busy, I've been trying to push out videos for a long while now, but I got some really bad ADHD, so I'm always ch changing my projects like left and right. Uh, anyways, right now I have a Shop GLD Alpha Era uh, skeleton uh, face for you guys. So when you get it, it's gonna be a box within a box that box and uh, if you have a wrist that's probably seven and three quarters or larger you'll probably want to buy some extra links they cost about uh, well they cost me $12.99 USD and I'm in Canada so that's how much those cost for three extra links <clears throat> here is the watch here Uh, the back right here is pretty thick and I was worried about that at first, but there is a pretty solid like locking mechanism, so It's actually not that bad They have a GLD it looks like it's uh, laser engraved and as well as a pickaxe right here You can also see the back there and uh, that's where it winds up from your wrist movements. It's an automatic uh, watch, so it does not need any batteries. Sorry, I'm just fixing, fixing my focus here. So that thing in there will wind up. And uh, you could go and get an automatic winder. Uh, and it'll sit on something similar to this. And it'll just spin around in a case. I actually have one of those. Uh, the only problem is, is uh, your time will always start fast forwarding. So eventually within time, your watch might be like five minutes fast, uh, but it definitely beats uh, having to reset the time because if you're not wearing this watch all the time, you will lose the time. It'll just stop spinning, right? And, uh, yeah, let's get some measurement for, measurements for you guys. <clears throat> so we'll do everything in millimeters because that's what you guys are normally used to. So the face is about 30... I don't know, let's say 31, 32 mil. Outside face is 42 mil. The links are 22 mil. So like I said already, I live in Canada. So this cost me about $680 Canadian and about $200 to ship it. I mean, uh, for duties and taxes, right? Uh, so I got half off and then I also used a 20% coupon. Within this is the link changer. I'm not gonna go over how to use the link changer. And like I said, this didn't come with any extra links. So if you're seven and three quarters, it's probably not gonna fit you. But uh, yeah, th this is the watch, right guys? Uh, get some close ups. little pickaxe there on the time setting. Now, if you noticed, uh, the face, the gold kind of looks a little darker, right? Uh, but mostly on nice watches and luxurious watches, uh, they'll have the inside skeleton faces as precious gold. So about 24 karat. So it would look dark and that's, uh, that's why I'm perfectly fine with the look on that. So uh, we're going to turn off the lights now and we're going to get you some better shots.
Yeah, there's some red dots in there and those are only visible uh, when the black light's on it. Let's get you guys a little shine test right now. Turn the lights back on. And that's it guys, if uh, you want to purchase the watch, this is what it looks like. And yeah, I have no complaints with it. Okay, this is the locking mechanism right here. You got one here. You got one here. And that's it guys. If you do appreciate these videos and you do like when I make these videos, then uh, show me some support by clicking the link in the description and uh, that'll bring you over to Shop GLD where you can purchase something. Comment, like, subscribe. Also, uh, some of the hobbies I've been getting into while I've not been making YouTube videos is I've been uh, making a custom PC and I also uh, have 3D printers I have to build. And I also am uh, fixing currently a DJI Mavic Air 2. So that's why I've been fairly busy lately. But uh, after everything is said and done, hopefully I can get back to making some YouTube videos. I've also been pretty busy at work. So this is the custom PC I built. This is my first PC I built. And yeah, the only thing I'm missing is a 3080. Uh, prices are pretty crazy right now, so I haven't went out and bought one. It'll get the job done for now. My Series X will have to take place for gaming for a little bit. And uh, I have some 3D printing I'll be doing. I'll also be making some custom pendants with my 3D printer, because uh, that's the way to go. It's a lot cheaper than buying off a jeweler. So hopefully I can do that myself.